An expected special election with Congresswoman Deb Holland's likely departure has sparked a new lawsuit over party politics. One voter is suing the state, hoping to lower the bar for independent candidates to get on the ballot. News 13's Chris McKee explains. If Congresswoman Holland is confirmed to serve as Interior Secretary, a independent who wants their name on the ballot has to gather thousands of voter signatures just to get that name on the ballot. So what we're dealing with in this lawsuit is the unfairness of allowing party candidates to get on the ballot with the support of just a few hundred, whereas an independent candidate has to get the support of thousands. We believe that's unconstitutional. Kenneth Salter is an attorney representing an independent voter and asking the Bernalillo County District Court to intervene in the state's election law now. Once Holland vacates her congressional seat as it's expected, the Secretary of State has between 77 and 91 days to call a special election. State law says Democrats, Republicans and Libertarians, their central committees get to choose their party candidate. For Dems and the GOP, there's over 100 people on those committees who are ultimately the final people who get to choose the final name that goes on the ballot to represent the party. Since independents don't have a central committee, they're bound to signature gathering. Depending on when a candidate declares, an independent may have to gather more than 6,000 signatures. The lawsuit argues it's unconstitutional to set the bar lower for major parties compared to independents. Our concern is not where the bar is set. Our concern is that the bar is the same for party members and independent candidates. If the state wants to make sure there's not too many candidates on the ballot, then set a high bar, but make it equally high for party members as for independents. Now, no court dates have been set in this lawsuit, and the New Mexico Secretary of State hasn't directly responded in any court filings yet. A spokesman for Maggie Toulouse Oliver's office told us in part in a statement they believe the case should be dismissed, saying that qualified political parties go through a much tougher process to be included on the ballot. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Chris. So far, at least five candidate candidates have declared their intent to run for Holland's seat.